Hello everybody. Now I will try to uh, discuss the processing of the polymeric material which is mainly processing of the uh, plastic component. So uh, here we will try to discuss the processing of the plastic component in the sense that the this chapter includes is the melt processes but uh, few cases we can perform the melting of the plastic components but uh, most of the cases the plastic component is actually processed not completely melting rather it will try to uh, reach above the glass transition temperature and also it's uh, the, the that above this temperature it becomes soft and this soft we take the different shape of the uh, plastic component so i say that the processing of the plastic uh, is actually done it is a not always melting uh, operations. So that is why uh, from that perspective I will try to discuss the different uh, process or techniques is associated with the this polymeric material or plastic uh, component. So plastic is uh, the synthetic material we see that it uh, there are wide range of the organic uh, polymers uh, that can be molded into the different shape and size and which is a rigid sometimes rigid and sometimes we can produce the very in the slightly elastic form we can produce the, the plastic. But overall all the processing techniques or manufacturing technologies is basically the, the rely on the these two different uh, types of the, um, the plastics that is one in one is the thermoplastic process another is the thermosets processes. So thermoplastic and thermoset these are the two categories of the uh, polymeric material. And when you try to look into the different manufacturing process, uh, application of the different manufacturing technologies associated with the thermoplastic and thermoset polymers, we need to understand what are the typical behavior or properties uh, associated with these two types of the uh, plastic materials. Now, if we look into the thermoplastics, which is widely used, the thermoplastics, the material which is pure reversibly. That means every time we can reuse the this uh, this therm uh, most of the uh, reuse the thermoplastic material, and cure, that is the meaning of the cures reversibly. That means forming or processing of the uh, the recycling or uh, reprocessing of the this thermoplastics component is possible. But thermoplastics become soft when it is heated and above the melting temperature or I can say that uh, it is not exactly melting temperature because melting temperature is mostly associated with the crystalline material or metallic material. So rather I can say it becomes soft when it is uh, above the glass transition temperature, we will discuss about the glass transition temperature in later stage and it becomes hard after the after cooling uh, that is the that is usually uh, behavior of the thermoplastics. But once it is the when it is become soft then it takes the various shape various form mold into the various shapes and uh, at the same times without undergoing significant chemical changes. actually this is important this that it is a molded into various shapes when it becomes soft but without undergoing significant chemical changes so there is no not significant chemical changes the it takes the various shapes when it became the soft stage okay uh, that is the characteristics of the thermoplastics. But if you look into thermoset or thermosetting plastics, in that case thermosets are also typical, this is also polymer but that undergo uh, the chemical reaction. So such that it becomes permanently hardened during the manufacturing process. So it becomes permanently hardened during the manufacturing process that is why uh, thermosets cannot be remelted or recycled or reshape uh, through the application of the heat is difficult or not possible uh, through application of the heat uh, taking the reshape of the thermoset plastic because when you see heat it then it becomes the significant there is a change chemical reaction actually occurs. So chemical reaction occurs uh, and that uh, may be it create lots of cross link uh, structure. So therefore the reheat uh, up, it cannot take the shape even after reheating of the thermoset polymer. So that is what is called the irreversible process. This is the irreversible process, curing process, which is this irreversible curing process which is distinguishes from the uh, thermosets, uh, thermoplastics. But thermoplastics where it is softened and the heated and hardened when it is cooled. But in this cases when it is uh, during the cooling it does not undergo mass chemical changes. But here during the cooling thermosets it goes to the significant uh, chemical reaction easily occurs. So that is why it becomes permanently hardened during the manufacturing process. Now at the same time if the thermosets are continuously heating for a longer time 
then it's degraded or decomposition usually occurs for the thermoset uh, plastic. So, that is why uh, we know the thermoset plastics having the cross link uh, structure and that have in presence of the cross link structure it actually behaves like a different way as compared to the uh, thermoplastics. Now, here you can get some this thing we can distinguish therm the behavior of the thermoplastics and thermoset plastic. So, thermoplastic we can see if you reheat it we can take the reshape is possible because there is no significant chemical reaction occurs. But in case of the thermoset if you reheat it then it creates large there is significant chemical reaction occurs and it creates large amount of the uh, cross link structure. Then that means one heated it takes the particular shape again reheat the thermoplastic and taking that particular again that particular shape is difficult or not possible in case of the uh, thermoset. Uh, but the other way uh, if the reheating reshape is possible in case of the thermoplastic, but this in, in these two cases the difference is that uh, because during the cooling phase thermoplastic this does not change the, the uh, structure does not change much with the chemical reaction or it remains almost same not significant change in the chemical structure. But the during heating the thermosets having some kind of the chemical reaction will occur and creates more amount of the uh, thermo uh, cross links and significant chemical changes structure changes usually occurs by creating the cross link. Uh, that is why or in presence of the cross link structure it is sometimes reheating reshape is difficult in case of the thermosetting plastics. Now, thermoplastics can be melt under heat and thermoset plastic retain their form and the stay solid under heat. So, basically up to certain temperature it becomes stay solid, but if you further heat it it simply decompose not uh, take the different shape. So, that is the properties of the thermoset plastics. Uh, now, again thermoplastics have a low melting point we can use as a recycle materials, but thermoset plastics it basically withstand high temperature, but without losing their shape. But if you go beyond that temperature then it decompose into the uh, different component. So, this is the difference between this two thermoplastics and thermoset. So, we can say that thermoplastics is basically low melting point or uh, as, uh, as compared to this thing thermoset that the melting point is relatively higher as compared to the thermoplastics. But if you look into aesthetic part the appearance of the surface the thermoplastics are seen superior to the thermoset polymers. So, thermoplastics the aesthetic appearance of the thermo, uh, thermoplastic is uh, superior as compared to the thermoset polymer. But thermosetting materials have the better aesthetics than metal, but if we, if we compare the with respect to metal, but thermosetic plastics the aesthetic uh, materials have the better aesthetic as compared to the, the metals. Now, we are talking about the glass transition temperature is the in, in this if we see we can look into this figure. So, we x axis represent the temperature and y axis represent the specific volume and associated to the polymeric material. Here you can see the after heating or during the cooling operation we can see this a, there is no fixed temperature uh, at this particular temperature where just change of the phase solid to liquid occurs. So, not like that. So, but rather in case of uh, this thing uh, polymeric material we see it starts from the liquid phase then it, it uh, passes to the rubbery state and then it is go to the glassy state. So, therefore, we can see that and glass transition temperature is associated with this thing like uh, this uh, softening behavior rubbery stage exists in case of the polymeric material over this temperature Tg and Tf and once it is Tf is the melting point temperature of the this plastic. So, here this Tg is known as the, the glass transition temperature. Glass transition temperature is the is basically associated with the amorphous polymer uh, that changes from a hard or glassy state to a soft or lathy state or vice versa. So, basically change of the phase from hard phase to a soft phase or glassy state to the uh, lathery state and that particular temperature is known as the glass transition temperature, but in this case it is associated with the amorphous uh, polymer. But when you specifying the melting temperature, melting temperature is basically we can say the change of the phase from liquid phase to solid phase and uh, uh, in this case the uh, that occurs transition occurs either liquid to solid and vice versa it transition occurs and that is associated with the crystalline material. So, when crystalline material changes uh, in the crystalline material in the solid form it actually changes to the liquid phase. So, that particular temperature is known as the 
the melting point temperature. Uh, we see the specific volume is changing here. I say when changing the temperature from the liquid to solid. So, specific volume is actually decreases from changing phase from liquid phase to solid phase. But if you see the polymeric material, this is uh, the amorphous structure, it is there is no transition specific volume changes, it is gradually uh, changing the specific volume. So, specific volume increases, then increasing the temperature. So, within that, there is a range of the temperature, one we fixed for the uh, glass transition temperature or the another temperature is associated with the, the melting point temperature. But glass transition temperature is only uh, visible in case of the amorphous structure, but this melting point temperature is associated with the crystalline structure. So, therefore, polymer is cooled below the glass transition temperature, it gets very hard and brittle. So, below glass transition temperature, it becomes very hard. So, I can say the glass transition temperature is basically changing phase from very hard phase to the soft phase that is associated with the glass transition temperature. But polymer heated above Tg, it becomes very, very soft and gradually further heating and certain temperature it becomes to the liquid phase. So, usually in case of the polymer, the glass transition temperature is approximately two third of the melting point temperature of this particular uh, polymer. Now, we can see the some common examples of the thermoplastic which is used the uh, polyurethane, polypropylene, uh, ABS, acrylics, these are the PVC, use the polyvinyl colloid, these are the examples of the uh, thermoplastics and thermoplastics uh, we know that it is uh, actually having the linear or branch molecular structure, so molecular structure is something different of the thermoplastic as compared to the uh, thermosets. But properties of the thermoplastic we can list it like that very high strength and toughness, chemical resistance better hardness, durability, trans transparency is also the electrical insulation, lightweight, ease of processing, all these characteristic features is the finds that uh, the typical applications of the different area uh, of the thermoplastic polymer. So, certain thermoplastics for example, like acrylics and the polycarbonate, they are actually transparent and processes excellent optical clarity. So, for this time we can find out the application uh, this thing in this particular area where there is a need of that uh, optical clarity is required. For that purpose we can use the this acrylic and the polycarbonate uh, type of the, the this uh, thermoplastics. Similarly, uh, certain thermoplastics for example, PVC they produce the very good excellent electrical uh, and insulation properties. properties. So, that is why any uh, electrical and electronics applications we can find the as an insulator for the PVC can be utilized. We can see the applications of the uh, polymer, uh, this thermoplastics, there is a wide range of the industrial application we can find out. Uh, for example, this uh, thermoplastic can be used the packaging industry for the foods and beverages and the toy manufacturing, furniture, phone cover, electrical products can be used in electrical products, automotive components such as the interior trim, exterior body panels, bumpers, uh, dashboard components, all this kind of the automobile parts can be made from the thermoplastics are widely used in the in case of 3D printing also and the for in, in any kind of the prototyping, any product development we try to produce in that cases thermoplastics can be used for the three dimensional uh, in, in 3D printing process. And even uh, because uh, in this cases and due to their male processability and availability of the various filament and the pow powder forms. So, for example, ABS in this use the most wide use in the 3 in the 3D printed component 3D printing form because in the form of a filament wire ABS is are widely available. Uh, at the same time the powder can also be available uh, ABS powder is easily available. So, that is why this can be utilized in case of the 3D printing uh, process for developing the uh, prototypes. Now, if we look into the thermo sets now thermosets something uh, little different as compared to the uh, thermoplastics. So, thermosets material is basically the properties if we look into this thing first is the high temperature resistance definitely it is having high temperature resistance as compared to the thermoplastics. But dimensional stability is that we can explain that one cure, one it is curing is performed and in case of the uh, thermosets then thermosets maintains their particular shape under various conditions. So, therefore, they can be used precision and the du durability is required for that purposes we can utilize the uh, thermosets. Mechanical strength is also high stiffness, toughness, 
the strength are relatively more as compared to the thermoplastics and therefore it can be used in the structural application for industry such as aerospace industry can utilize automobile industry and the construction industry this uh, this thermo sets plastic are usually used. Similarly, the electrical insulation also is uh, another application so where you can use the excellent electrical insulation properties. These uh, thermo sets are commonly used in case of the electrical and electronics apply in, including the electrical the circuit board also insulator and uh, encapsulation materials the is basically uh, we can utilize the thermo sets. Apart from this thing the weather resistance so this is sometimes some particular type of the thermosets is uh, used to put uh, resistance to the ultraviolet radiation uh, resistance to the moisture absorption and weathering making them suitable for outdoor applications such as coatings, uh, sealants and composite materials we can find out the applications of the so many different types of the uh, thermoset. So, application of the thermosis is basically the understanding is that it depends on the what are the different types of the properties associated with the uh, thermosex material for uh, that uh, this thing we just we have discussed high temperature resistance dimensional tolerances mechanical strain electrical insulation weather resistant from the different perspective there are so many various application of the thermosex also uh, there associated with that now one example of the thermosex is the the epoxy resins thermosets polymers are the epoxy resins. So, phenolic resins, polyester resins, uh, polyurethanes uh, we can see this is the medical company you can use it, silicon rubbers these are the different types of the uh, thermosets plastics we can utilize we can uh, in the daily applications. But there you, you, you the uh, aerospace industry, automobile industry, electronics industry, consumer goods even uh, particular high performance applications durability and relab depending upon the when there is a the instrument or component looking for the high durability and reliability in that cases we can utilize the thermosets polymers at the different industry. So, different variants of this thing. Now, the if you try to understand the uh, the thermosets, so mechanical poly the tensile strength of this particular polymer is around 11 point it can vary 11 point 7 to 185 mega Pascal. So, th within that range the, the strength can vary of this particular polymer and flexural strength of the polymer can vary from 40 to 175 uh, mega Pascal. Here you see the looking into the how stress strain behavior stress strain curve associated with the polymeric material you see there is also elastic part up to certain part and there is also this plastic uh, plastic component also ultimate tensile strength yield strength. So, here in that case we can get this kind of we can reach this kind of the stress strain behavior associated with the uh, polymeric material polymeric material. Now uh, or I can say the thermosets. So, but fatigue failure of the thermosets is actually brittle in nature. So, we can say that as compared to the thermoplastics. So, thermosets is more brittle as compared to the uh, thermoplastics and but that is why the C thermosets fails occurs brittle nature, but in case of the thermoplastic failure occurs by initiation of the crack and propagation of the uh, crack. So, that means to some extent it is having some kind of the ductile in nature as compared to the thermosets. Now, molecular weight of the polymer also affect the other behavior for example, creep behavior is also associated with the molecular weight of the particular polymer. So, on increasing the um, molecular weight polymer becomes more creep resistance property. So, but creep resistance property also depends on the other factors what are the what kind of the polymer we are using, what kind of the load is applied and what is the temperature and time uh, through which we can uh, utilize the application of the load based on that creep properties can vary. So, apart from creep properties uh, we can see the, but if you look into the processing of the polymer there are so many techniques uh, available uh, for the processing of the polymers just to uh, convert raw polymer into the useful finished product we can see but we see that actually if you look into the different manufacturing process of polymers it depends on the type of the polymer and what is the applications area what is the production volume and what is the cost consideration based on the different manufacturing technologies is actually developed which is actually process the polymeric materials but in general the polymeric material already i mentioned that in general pol polymers can be done by the heating forming and cooling in the continuous or repeated cycle that means there are three steps heating forming and cooling or in that certain cases 
we can directly melt the polymer we, it go reach to up to the melting point and then after that we follow the uh, cooling operations but when it is in the soft stage we are simply heating it and reaches the soft state then we perform the forming operation to get the desired shape associated with the polymer we will discuss the different techniques manufacturing techniques associated with the polymer in the uh, respective module also but common techniques associated with the which is the manufacturing processes associated with the polymers are casting extrusion thermoforming injection molding then blow molding to compressive molding rotational molding transfer molding we'll discuss individually uh, that all these different manufacturing uh, technologies associated with the polymeric process but here i am just trying to give these are the manufacturing processes associated with the uh, polymeric uh, materials but if you look into this in general the distinguish the thermoplastics and the thermosets what are the different manufacturing techniques or so what are the basic features are different associated with the thermoplastics and thermosets here we can see that thermoplastics and the basically heating and it passes through the glass transition temperature and after that it actually form the desired shape by the application of the pressure that means it here we reaching the heating and the forming processes we usually use associated with the thermoplastics so here the process can be extrusion thermoforming injection molding fuse deposition modeling and compression molding these are the different types of the manufacturing processes or techniques associated with the uh, thermoplastics but if we look into the thermosets thermosets can be processed into two step one is the it is melted and then poured into the mold to make the desired shape you see that thermoplastics are basically heating and then we try to make the forming operation so before reaching the melting point but in case of the thermosets actually we need to go for the first melting and then we form the pour into the different type of the desired shape so that is the example a manufacturing process associated with thermosets is the casting and the resin transfer molding associated with the thermosets so here i have tried to give some some basic understanding of the processing of the polymering material but uh, we, before understanding what are the different types of the manufacturing process applicable for the thermosets or the thermoplastics we need to able to distinguish what are the properties associated with the thermoplastics and what are the properties associated with the thermosets and based on that we can get that thermosets is basically associated with the manufacturing process of uh, then melting and the uh, the the hardening and the desired shape but in thermoplastic we do the not melting we usually do the the heating and then uh, forming is the main manufacturing process or uh, techniques associated with the thermoplastics i think uh, that's all thank you very much for your kind attention